Sometimes people write me and tell me they believe in Jesus. They've been convicted that He is the Lord and Savior of the world, but they're not exactly sure what steps they need to take in order to be saved. So in this video, I'm going to explain that as I present to you five steps to salvation. Step number one, admit you're a sinner. Step number two, believe in Jesus Christ. Step number three, repent from your sins. Step number four, confess your sins to God. Step number five, acknowledge Jesus as your Lord. Is that all? Is this what you believe? Because this is not what Jesus said, for Jesus said, you must be born again. Here, here is the real step for salvation. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my two commandments, because, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And so, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my two commandments, and you will be, baptized with the Holy Spirit of truth. And that means, you will be born again. Jesus said, truly, truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God, unless, he is born again. And so, the first and greatest commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. And so, this is the first and greatest commandment. But, do you know, do you know who your Lord, your God, is? For I know, who my Lord my God, is. And, Thomas knows him too. John 20:28. 20, Please join me as I pray. Father, forgive me. Accept my confession that I'm a sinner worthy of death. I give my life to you. Thank you for Jesus' death and life to save me. Help me to do your will. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. Your sins have been forgiven and you have been brought into a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Really, is this the truth? Who, who is that Father, in your prayer? Is that our Father, in heaven, your earthly Father, or the Father of, Donald Trump? Jesus Christ said, This is, how you should pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And find a good church to attend so you can get some support and encouragement from like-minded believers. I highly recommend the Seventh-day Adventist Church. That's the church I go to, and you can probably find one in your area by googling it. Yes, that's right, we shall google it. But before that, we shall google the Seventh-day Adventist cult, exposed. I have a lot of good Christian videos, which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you liked this one. No, not good, this one was not good. Your five steps to salvation, are not what Jesus said. Your prayer is against the prayer, that Jesus teaches us to pray. And, not only that, but, your false religion is against the Holy Spirit of truth. Here, let me explain. You can't keep the Sabbath law, and have the Holy Spirit at the same time. And, here is why, you can't, do that. Because, there is no Sabbath law for born-again Christians. For, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no Sabbath law. Galatians 5 23 Against such there is no Sabbath law. And so, to have the Holy Spirit of truth, in you. First, you must leave the false woman-made religion, of Sabbath day keeping. Because, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no Sabbath law. 
Galatians 5:22-23. Against such there is no Sabbath law. For the law is not for the holy, but for the earthly, for criminals only. The law is for criminals only. And so, if our Father in heaven baptize you with the Holy Spirit of truth, then you will be holy, every day holy, including Saturday, Friday, Monday, Sunday, and every day holy. You will not worry about Sabbath no more, for the Sabbath will worry for itself. Matthew 6:34. But you can't be in false woman-made religion and in the same time to have the Holy Spirit of truth in you. This is not possible. Please understand that. This is not possible. You can't be earthly trying to keep one day of the week holy and in the same time be holy every day holy. This is not possible. Please understand that. This is not possible. Let me explain, for many people don't understand what the Sabbath is and why I don't keep but do the Sabbath. Because keep and do are different. And so, with the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, we do the commandments, not because we have to, but because we love to. And so, can you tell a holy man not to be evil, but to be holy? No, you can't for you know that you will be wrong. Can you tell a holy man, who is filled with the Holy Spirit of truth, not to lie? No, you can't for you know that you will be wrong. Can you say to the prophet Abraham not to worship idols? No, you can't for you know that you will be wrong. But you can tell that to those that are not born again. And so, can you tell a born again Christian, filled with the Holy Spirit of truth, to keep one day of the week holy? At least, to keep one day of the week holy. I leave that question for you to answer.